J.D. Vance's remarks underscore the growing conservative critique of U.S. immigration policies, particularly at the southern border, where the influence of Mexican drug cartels has surged, and the U.S. social safety net seems to be eroding. He points to the rise of these cartels, now among the richest criminal empires globally, under the oversight of Kamala Harris, who he holds accountable for border security. Vance argues that this has fostered a dangerous cocktail of porous border policies and soft immigration enforcement, which in turn emboldens criminal organizations to thrive in the chaos. And the Mexican drug cartels have become the wealthiest criminal organization maybe in the entire world because of what Kamala Harris has done at the border. Not to mention, like, I'm a big believer in the social contract in this country. Like, I, I, I benefited sometimes from a generous United States government, meaning a generous United States taxpayer that made it possible for us to afford things that we wouldn't have always been able to afford. So when you bring in millions upon millions of people, you degrade and destroy the social trust that's necessary to support any kind of a modern support for poor people, food assistance, housing assistance. You are not going to have that stuff if you allow millions upon millions of people into this country illegally, and then they get to take advantage of it. Vance's argument further suggests that illegal immigration chips away at the nation's social contract. With millions of undocumented immigrants entering the U.S., he warns that the strain on taxpayers is becoming unsustainable. He sees the welfare system buckling under the weight of unchecked immigration, with the fear that resources intended for U.S. citizens, especially the poor and working class, are being siphoned off by non-citizens. This, he contends, erodes the public's trust in government assistance programs and reduces their willingness to fund them. At the heart of Vance's argument is the idea that social cohesion relies on shared responsibility and mutual commitment, especially in systems designed to help those in need. When people, such as illegal immigrants, benefit from these resources without contributing, it breeds resentment and a sense of injustice. In Vance's view, this erodes the very foundation of social trust, which is critical to the functioning of welfare programs. Without robust immigration enforcement, he warns, the long-term viability of these programs, along with national security and social unity, hangs in the balance.